This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hi, this is Brandon Burgess with the Irrigator Technical Training School. And today we're going to go over double check backflow prevention assembly troubleshooting. Okay, so now I'm going to do a check on my check valve number one. I filled my sight tube. I went ahead and pressurized my system. So my gauge is fully pressurized. I'm going to go ahead and bleed. Bleed the high side of the gauge. Hold it to level, the critical level, which is the center line of the assembly at the same level as the water in my sight tube. Close shut off valve number two. Close shut off valve number one. Now we're going to open test cock number three. So as you can see here, my sight tube is continuously running. What I need to do is compensate for that. I would do that with the bleed valve arrangement. I'll go ahead and open the bleed valve arrangement until there is a slight drip coming out of the tube. And I get my differential pressure at two PSI, which is a passing value. I can go ahead and move over my equipment and do my check on the second check valve. 